going on everybody thank you so much for tuning in to omfg wrestling my name is sarah and in today's video we're going to take a look at kurt angle coming down back to the ring to announce the members that were going to represent team raw during survivor series um and there was a that was a crazy change of events, you guys, and let's get into it. We arrived at Survivor Series, which is you know, the likelihood of that happening. Who knows what it was going to happen. As of today, always it's his time in the locker room. On behalf of the Raw Superstars, I can tell you that we cannot wait for Survivor Series. It's the only time during the year that Raw goes head-to-head -head with SmackDown. Raw champions versus SmackDown champions. Our five best female superstars versus their five best female superstars. And same with the men. Cool. And speaking of men, I have her five best men right now, and I'm about to announce them. All right, let's hear it. The first is going to be... You guys, I was surprised that when Shane returned, I thought it was going to be on his own show, SmackDown, but the first time we see him after his match that he had at Hell in a Cell is actually on Raw, so that was like crazy. Oh god. It's so funny because like the cameraman cut to the ramp where the stars usually come out of and then they're like, where, 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 like, where are these, where's Shane coming out from? And so he came out through the crowd and he bring his half of the Smackdown locker room with him. Men, men and women. Male and female superstars. The New Day, Rusev, Becky Lynch, Mojo Raleigh, SmackDown Women's Champion Natalya, Women's Money in the Bank uh, winner Carmella, AJ Styles, of course, because he did have a match last night on Raw. Just to name a few. Shinsuke is also here. <laughs> Who else? Uh, oh, Chad Gable and Bobby Roode, I think I already said. <laughs> Kurt Angle's just staring at him like, with the, like, what the heck? What is going like? What is going on, dude? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you trying to do to me? <laughs> Tamina's also here tonight. Was last night. Under siege. He didn't stick Blue around team. to find out. Go get him! Whoa, wait, 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 wait a minute! Get Kurt Angle out of here! The, the, the SmackDown the live roster is marching up the ramp here on Monday Night Raw! Look, I, I don't think Raw is ready for a fight right now, guys. Come on, come on, come on, this is about to buy the series tonight. Uh, uh, go get him under siege, what is this all about? What prompted, what promotes Shady Man to bring his entire roster here tonight? The entire SmackDown Live roster just stormed into the backstage area. You guys are ready for, for fight now. Oh, okay. I know, right? Because like they half these people already had matches and exhausted enough energies, so they're gonna try and take these people out after the fact. 
when they're weak, potentially, you know, hurting and whatnot. Oh! Oh my god! Apollo Crews <laughs> and Titus are the first <laughs> two victims. Oh! Oh no! Oh my gosh. What? Wow! Oh god, Rusa. Come on, Rusa. Oh my gosh. No. That was just unnecessary. Are you kidding me? An innocent bystander? They took out the big screen TV too! Oh gosh. Poor electronics are being knocked out as well. Jesus. Oh gosh. Wait, what the heck? Yo, Dana wants to run away. Come on, Dana, what the hell? Oh my gosh. Goldust at Goldust and who else? Kurt Hawkins. There was a third raw superstar that I I couldn't tell who it was. Who also entered and got beaten down. Who's that? And Monday Night Raw is oh, under Curtis siege. Axel. Which has the Curtis Axel and so oh, this was is that I couldn't see the face. They went into the men's locker room. Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? Chad Gable went after his former American Alpha teammate Jason Jordan. And freaking Mad Hardy came out of the bathroom. And went and they all went after him. And who else came out of the bathroom? Again, there's just so many people. <gasps> you can't even really tell. Again, this is a predecessor to what's going to no. happen in the Survivor Series. Oh my God! Sick. I still didn't even decimated. see his face. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! I mean, this was a premeditated assault. Raw wasn't ready for any of this. Mob mentality, huh? Oh gosh! And then they just went into another locker room and. Oh gosh, I think that's Elias. I'm not sure. I thought by the pants, but I can't tell. What the heck? I believe it was the Good Brothers and. I know, yes, it was one of the people who was like. Alright, so we got the women, Alicia, Fox, Bailey, Sasha Banks, and I believe Mickey James. Oh, gosh. Natalia and Becky Lynch, Tamina and Carmella are just... Oh. Beating these raw women senseless. That didn't take too long. <laughs> oh gosh. I hope that's not a sign for what's to come at Survivor Series. Kurt Angle? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? 
Oh yeah, really man? Really guys, really? That's unnecessary. They're just... Yeah, they're just making Kurt watch as they destroy his... He came here tonight, he was a premeditated assault set up by Commissioner Shane McMahon. They, they, they left the entire raw locker room decimated. Oh, yeah. Now, the SmackDown the superstars are dragging general manager Kurt Angle out into the arena. Are you and kidding me, man? Why? What is the... Why? What, what was the... SmackDown Live and Mass here tonight. Look at this, guys. Well, you know what? That's definitely one way to bond as a brand. Is <laughs> it storming through the other competition, through the, through the raw locker room, and just <laughs> releasing all that pent-up frustration and anger and whatever else is going on in their minds? Why are they carrying Kurt back into the ring? What is going on? I know, right? Yeah, I didn't think that there was bad blood between the brands either. Exactly. <laughs> oh my god. It's mob mentality at its finest. Kurt Angle has to be so angry and yet so embarrassed at the same time. Embarrassed for what? Like, they, they came at the very end of the show when, as I said earlier, half these people had matches, expended all that energy. And, you know, and then like... At Survivor Series? I want you to bring your gold medal, what's left of your raw roster, and we're all going to finish what we started. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's damn true. My lord. Oh gosh. This was the last thing I expected Shane of all people to do. I thought he was a little more... I don't know. I, I thought he had more class than this, to be honest. That might have not only been the first shot, that may have been the biggest shot in the cannon. It was definitely entertaining to watch. All right, so they're done. They're they're leaving the same the same way they came in. Oh my gosh, poor Kurt. Wow. My lord. I that was really cool. I mean, that was super entertaining. Definitely an interesting way to get your team to band together and to bond <laughs> like that's one way of bonding you know um and who knows it probably probably really did help them get all amped up for a survivor series and it also gives the raw brand more motivation going into that pay-per-view you know because who wouldn't want to get some kind of retribution for what just happened? And we'll probably see it before Survivor Series. We'll probably see the Raw um, locker room do something similar to, to the SmackDown competitors. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, uh, it'd be so interesting if we saw them like try to one-up each other all the way through um, the, the four weeks coming up to leading up to Survivor Series so like that would be really really interesting to see like how far they could try to top the other brand um, that would be like a lot of fun to see but let me know you guys down in the comments below what you thought about this did you find it funny did you find it messed up um, were you surprised that Shane did this? Because I was surprised that he 
led this um, group of people to do such things, but I mean, we'll see, we'll see. I'm, I'm excited to see what's to come out of this, so I would love to know what you guys are expecting, what you guys thought, and leave those comments down below. I'd love to read them and respond as well. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more videos from me. And of course, you could also follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I'm at ABCDOMFG. So you could follow me on there. And you guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Goodbye!